Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Man Cave Meals. Today we're going to fire up the new Lone Star Grills pellet smoker and we're going to smoke some beef jerky. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do in a jerky project is I'm going to get my jerky marinade together and I'm going to give you all these ingredients quantities in the video description. I'm starting out with soy sauce. I've got some Prog Powder number no. 1 pink curing salt. I've got some sugar. I've got ground coriander. I've got uh, onion powder, garlic powder, and black pepper. So what I'm going to do is get all that in there and I'm just going to whisk that and stir it because we've got to make sure the sugar and the curing salt gets completely dissolved. I've got roughly four pounds of eye of round roast that I have sliced myself into about, I don't know, quarter, roughly quarter of an inch thick slices. I'm going to put all this in a plastic container and then I'm going to dump in all of our marinade. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get in here with my hand and kind of turn this and mix it and get that well distributed in there. And I'm going to let this marinate. You can let this marinate for anywhere from 12 to 24 hours or so. And what I'm going to do a couple of times during that time is I will actually put my lid on this and then I'll just come uh, shake the container. I'll give it a good uh, shake with the lid. You know, I'll just pick it up and kind of turn it like that to keep that all the surfaces of that meat coated and let that marinate. So it's crazy cold out here this morning. So we're going to go ahead and fire up the grill to 160 degrees. And while that's coming up to temp, we'll get our jerky ready. Okay, I've got everything up to temperature here. So we are going to put this rack of jerky on and I've got just the right amount to fill up that top rack so we're gonna put that in there and we're gonna let this low smoke here for five or six hours we've been going about two hours so far and uh, this stuff's looking really good it's taking on some beautiful color and what I like to do at a stage right here is I like to give it a quick spritz with just a little bit of water and this achieves the same effect you get when you're spritzing something like ribs or a butt it uh, gives a little extra opportunity for smoke to adhere to this so this will be the only time I do this during this cook and we're like I said we probably got four or five more hours to go we've been going a little over four hours here and I'm pretty happy with what this looks like this has the texture I'm looking for so uh, we're gonna take this off what I like to do at this point is just put this in a bowl and let it acclimate to room temperature so this jerky's done and I've let it acclimate to room temperature and to figure out when your jerky is done you basically just have to know what kind of texture you like what kind of consistency you like and when it gets to that you take it off I like mine where it's firm but still a bit floppy where you can actually tear it apart just like that so mm. it's got an amazing flavor it's really got great smoke great flavor what I do to store mine is I vacuum seal this in small vacuum seal bags and since I use the prog powder number one the pink curing salt in the proper ratio for this recipe this stuff shelf stable I can vacuum seal it and I don't have to refrigerate it or I don't have to put it in the freezer if you decide to make this without the pink curing salt it needs to be preserved properly so guys the Lone Star did an amazing job with this I'm real happy with how well it ran I'm gonna put a picture up here on the screen of the uh, fireboard graph to show you how steadily this guy ran at 160 degrees Fahrenheit uh, during this cook. So guys, give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think. Until next time, this is John Setzler with Man Cave Meals.